Hi, and welcome to Icy Kicks on today's show. Well, I've got this to show you. Uh, yeah, a bit of an impulse buy this one, and it's more for my own personal collection than to actually have it on the show and build and show and that kind of stuff. Oh yeah, I forgot to say on the intro of this video, there is some more Tamiya news on the latest and greatest that's coming out, so stay tuned to the end for an update. But I really love it and I thought it'd be nice to show off somebody else's work for a change. And it's this, the M06 from Tamiya. It's the Alfa Romeo Giulia Spider GTA with a slight twist to the paint job. As you can see, the person who painted this up is really good. He's done some beautiful bodies. I'll put a link uh, below. Go check him out. He's on Instagram. But I saw this come up for sale and I just loved it. I was tempted to do one of these myself. But being so busy with so many kits coming in all the time to actually take some time to do one for myself is a little bit difficult. So I kind of cheated and thought, well, instead of me putting hours into it, I'll just buy this one as it was up for sale. It's in perfect condition. It's never been run. The chassis is brand new as well. It's got a servo in it. I've just got it up and running again. Uh, I put my own receiver in it, but it came with everything else. It is a rear wheel drive and rear wheel motored. So perfect for this car, really. The paint job painted red on the inside. And then what he's done is masked off and he's actually painted the whatever that is. I don't know what you call that aqua color and white on the outside. And then he's put more detail into the grill. Also, he'd put a little bit of effort into the rear as well, which I really liked. And he's done the rear in the same color and then just done a little number plate. He painted the wheels gold and it really sets it off. I love this scale. It's really nice. So uh, yeah, it was total impulse buy. Well, what can I tell you about this kit? Well, it's 58486. Originally came out on the 23rd of March, 2011. Now this was the first kit to have this chassis, but there's been quite a few since then. There's been a Mazda RX-7, which is 58493. Then there's a Nissan Silvia, which is 84267. Then we saw a VW Beetle that came out on 58572. So this chassis has been quite popular for Tamiya and they continue to make it right up to now. So the M06 chassis is still current and this year we got the Lotus Europa special that was on 58698 and we've got a kit that's coming out on the chassis that hasn't even been released yet and that is the Jägermeister Alpine on 58708 and I'm, I've just put in an order for one today as I love the scale and I really like it. So out of the two it was the Renault Alpine but then they've got the Jägermeister version of it so... I think a lot of people like the Alpha, the uh, original one versus the Jägermeister one, but I'll get one on the show as A, it's current, and B, I may end up keeping it in my own personal collection. So we might as well cover some of the news that's coming out of Tamiya that I haven't already on the show. Well, we're finally getting to the point where the XV02 Pro rally car is coming out next month. Finally, feels like it's been coming out for ages. This is the new chassis that replaces the XV01. There is some unboxing images and running footage of the XV01. VO2 Pro now out on YouTube. Go check it out. It's at Competition X. Looks pretty handy. I think a lot of people are going to like this one. Whether people are going to get out of their XVO1s into the XVO2, I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Tamir are banking on you liking this as there's lots of hop ups coming out. You can get titanium screw sets for it, new ball diffs, all kinds of bits and pieces. So, do you think this is going to be a success or do you think people are going to stick with what they love, the XVO1? Comment below. Let me know if you are a rally driver, which you going to do you're going to buy the new one or stick with what you got so another bit of strange news sad news depends how you look at it the mercedes-benz c11 that i've just built on the show that's just come out if you haven't seen the build video for it i'll put a link up here go check that out apparently tammy are not making any more so if you missed that one uh, i think you're going to be out of luck now if <laughs> if you're thinking about getting one and you know of one available i would grab it because prices obviously are going to go up like crazy if there's no more now i know a lot of you that have actually watched it because it's been very popular have commented that you're thinking of getting one so move fast if you're on the fence one thing I did see is the TD4 bevel gears on 22059 are coming out. This is quite good because a few people have reported that it's chewing up their gears. When you run a little bit of power, you take it to the track. So this will be definitely one for you. Don't know how much this is going to be, but it's supposed to be coming out this month. Another release that's just dropped in the last few days, and that is the kit 58713. It's the Mitsubishi Lancer Evo 5 on the TT02 chassis. <laughs> Why is it not on the XVO2? Bring out a beautiful body set like that and you're about to release a rally car. 
No, bring it out on the TTO2. Do both, Tamiya, do both. Bring it out on the XVO2 and the TTO2. That way, the entry level people are going to pick it up on the TTO2, or people that just want the body set and don't want to pay the kind of premium you're going to pay with the XVO2. Well, maybe it's to do with the price of the XV2, of XVO2 Pro is quite expensive. Throwing in a body set would push it up a bit high. Maybe that's the reason. Comment below. Let me know. What do you think? Another release that's just coming out from Tamiya, and it was kind of predictable, I guess you could say, and that is the Senna on kit 58711 on a TTO2 chassis. Why isn't that on a TCO1? We haven't seen anything else come out on the TCO1 chassis. It would have been a perfect fit for the Senna. I don't know. I guess they're trying to keep their price points down to get people into the kits, which I can understand. So I may, well, actually I've placed an order for a Senna, but it probably won't stay on a TTO2. I may end up putting it on my TCO1, which I've just turned into a rally car. So maybe I'll turn it into a road car. I don't know. We'll see. The body set looks amazing. It's going to be beautiful. Tons of little pieces because there's loads of aero on the center car. Now, they, Tamiya did bring out the scaled down model version of it. So obviously they've got the licensing agreement with McLaren. So it kind of makes sense for them to bring it out. And I think this one is going to be popular, but maybe not on that chassis. Hey, comment below. Let me know. Am I being too harsh? On a little bit of good news, people that have been waiting for the Blockhead Wild One to come back into stock in the UK, finally they have dropped today. Uh, Lee from LNL Models put out a photograph on his Facebook page and he's just got a load of stock in. So has a few other uh, resellers. I see Model Sport had them in and a few other places. So if you've been waiting for them, they are back in stock. So grab one while you can, as it's been a good few months since it dropped. And uh, we'll, we'll see another one, who knows? Now this is not a limited edition kit, so don't pay over the odds for this one. There should see more coming out. It's just how long you have to wait. On another note, uh, RC Kicks is almost at 25,000 subscribers. So we've grown 25% in the last six months. So things are still ticking along quite nicely. A little bit more growth would be nice, but hey, we just keep plugging away and hopefully one day we will hit that 100,000 subscribers. That is my all-time goal. But anyway, thanks very much. Please like and subscribe. See you on the next one.